This is going to be a very brief video of how to annotate charts on TradingView.com. I'm going to be using my free TradingView account so that it is uh, clear for everybody. And even if you have a basic free no charge account on TradingView.com, you can still do this and then send uh, links to your annotated charts. So when you go to TradingView.com, it will look something like this. What you need to do is you need to click on charts. And then um, I already have my indicators applied. So if you don't have my master charts trading price action indicators, you can ask, uh, you can send me a message at masterchartstrading.com. Uh, now we need to make sure that we're change this to daily where I'm hovering right now. See, it says daily one day. And we're going to be using, a, we're going to use a stock called NEO just for educational purposes. All right, so several things on this chart. Uh, one thing that I never use is this earnings. So you can just right click on them and get rid of them, show earnings, okay. The other thing is we need to have a target and to calculate the target, we need to apply another indicator. So to do that, we click on indicators, go to built-in, it's a free indicator. And you look for this average true range and you just click on it once. Now you can see that since this is a basic free account, you will get advertisements. I'm going to just close it and it's going to give me this thing. Okay. Also, you see how this uh, uh, ATR or average to range is occupying a huge amount of space. If you, uh, you can drag it down and make it smaller. We don't need to know, you know, what's it doing. We just need this number on the right. Um, also, if you don't have this numbers, if you right click on this, uh, you will see um, uh, labels and it's, you can see there is multiple symbol last price and indicator last value. So if it's not checked on yours, click on it and check it. Another thing is sometimes this thing out of fit data is unchecked and I'm going to show you what happens. You can drag it down and people say, where's my chart? So if you right click again and click out of fit, it will fit into the screen. Okay. So those are the two things um, to improve the readability, readability of the chart. To annotate, you would do the following. Uh, let's say we bought it on close above the blue line on 11th of June, 2021 here. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab this thing right here. Um, you know, there's many different annotations. So you can take the one that's called up arrow and then click right below it. Okay. See how the arrow is really huge. There's no need for that. We can make it smaller, maybe like that. Next, we need to annotate, we need to find where are we going, we need to find the target, and we will need to find the stop. So, we're going to use this tool right there, it's called long position. If you click on it, there is many different things, but we just need the long position. Click anywhere, and then you can see that this pop up, this popped up. So, if you click on this wheel, it's settings, we need to change several things. We need to make sure where it says style. It says always show stats because if you don't, um, it will be blank and I need to see those numbers. So make sure it's checked. Always show stats. Visibility, usually they're all checked. And then also important is inputs. So here we're going to just change it to sample $100,000 account and risking 1%. Now I know some people say it's small. so. It's for educational purposes. I need to make sure you understand how it works. So $100,000 account and risk 1% and say, okay. Okay. So take this thing and drag it over to where you bought like that. And uh, see how you can move the chart. So you just, you know, grab it and move it. So like, let's say if it's like that, I wouldn't be able to see anything. So you need to move the chart so that you can see the entire position size. All right. So next is what is the target? Target is two times average true range. If the average true range is currently 2.12, then the target is 4.24. So let's grab it 
and drag it down four point whatever something like that okay pretty good okay next thing is if you're trading stocks this is a stock and the stock is not a gold stock then your stop is at the yellow line okay gold stocks are special because gold we trade between blue and red line but regular just any stock we trade between blue and yellow okay so your stop is at the yellow line and again this is initial stop after your target has been reached you will take the stop and move it to your entry okay and your target is that see how small the target is so it's very doable okay so to annotate you're basically done right now what I need now to, you to do is do the following this button right there where I'm hovering is called is, is called a snapshot if you click on that this image URL will pop up so copy it go to a different browser uh, and window and paste it in and voila you have your annotated chart you have your ATR you have your target you have your entry you have your correct position size because you, you bought 34 shares quantity 34 shares is a position size you have your stop and um, I believe this is basically it um, you if you go to a different stack let's say Apple um, and then you will be like oh but I want to see Neo my annotated chart so you go Neo again and it will be saved automatically all right so it's automatically saved you can also have uh, in this on the right here you can also add like for example several lists you can do red list or whatever uh, if you want to create a new list it won't work but if you make a there are built-ins you see so you can create a um, like a red list for example okay all right well this is it um, and if you have any questions please send me a message um, alex at masterchartstrading.com alex at mastercharts trading.com right thanks if you have any questions again let me know